members of Congress that align with Sanders that the, the tent is too big, you know, versus the idea of the big tent and everybody coming in. Right. They want their own lane. And that that's going to be a really big challenge. So it will be interesting once we move through this process where uh, the voters are going to align. Somebody they think they can match mano a mano of Trump or somebody who's more aligned with their values. Because right now, I don't think you see a lot of that. Right. And it seems in the reporting that this issue of, 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 of Amy Klobuchar's being a woman candidate and Elizabeth Warren being a woman candidate and this whole issue, this whole story about did Bernie Sanders, did he really say he didn't think a woman could get elected in 2020? Um, if you go further into the reporting, he said that in the context of can a woman defeat President Trump. Um, given that President Trump has made a lot of inflammatory remarks, where you know, depending on how you want to characterize them, but but and and has, uh, I, I don't want to character, I don't want to mischaracterize what he said, but it's a point that Joe Biden has has been forceful about saying. I'm the only one who can really take on President Trump and go mano a mano and 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 you know, get down and bare knuckles with them. Well, when you start adding up, okay, what are the states that Trump won? Who were the base of voters? People always point to the suburban women voter, sure. Right. But the working class voter that's in a lot of those Rust Belt states, certainly in agricultural states, that really are looking for economic opportunity. They right. want to see regulation small. They want to see business have opportunity. They want to see workers' rights protected. There's a lot of common ground there. And to some, to, to many extent, you know, energy issues that come up, you know, they're kind of their whole argument on fossil fuels. That's not going to go anywhere in a state like Iowa. That's what I don't think we're hearing enough of. Mm -hmm. And that's the part Republicans would be concerned about. And, and actually, that would, if I could just jump in, that was interesting when um, the reporter from Des Moines, the Des Moines Register, asked Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren, tell us, tell us how how your opposition to USMCA will help farmers at home in Iowa, because you don't think it's a perfect deal. You're not going to vote for it, whereas Elizabeth Warren is. I mean, because our farmers at home in this state have been devastated by, by the lack of these trade deals. So, so why is that right? And Bernie Sanders, it sort of seemed to struggle a bit with that answer. What do you make, though, of, of Joe Biden's argument that really the candidate that gets the nomination needs to be the one that can unify the Democratic Party. I think you're going to have a really big problem. If you And it looks very much to history to where this may or may not fall. If the party picks a progressive like they did, you know, kind of post-1968 going into 1972, you pick somebody who's so out of touch with the rest, kind of that centrist part we're talking about, then they risk... Um, aligning those particular set of voters with a party that they traditionally voted for. So you're that kind of agreeing with Biden, which who's ever saying, I'm the guy who can, I'm that, the that's, guy who... That's, first off, that's yeah. math. Right. I mean, you can deny it. You can say as an ideologue, I, you know, you know, I take a purity test. I want you to believe all of these things on the progressive movement and this mm -hmm. is who, or we're not going to go, we're not going to vote. We're going to sit on our hands. That's the challenge. You've got to ask the Democrats about that. Well, and that's, and the, and that's the thing. Can, can you meet the energy of the Trump voters? Can, can you match that at the, at the on voting day. Right. And, and, yeah. and that's the question. And that's right. where, where the Bernie Sanders voters and the Trump voters are aligned. They're that's people right. that are, don't like the system <laughs> as right. it is, right? They, they, they don't, they're, they're pushing against elitists, people that have been in a certain structure, they feel that it's failed them. And they agree. It's you, two sides of the populist vote. That's right. right. And, yeah. and, and they both want to come into Washington to blow it up. Right. right. I mean, the, metaphorically speaking. Uh, no, yes, and, deliver, metaphorically and deliver speaking. on that. They're not looking for uh, the Joe Biden. So take into account. They're not looking for status quo. No. no. And and in many ways, Joe Biden is that set. That's 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 the rub. Right. Yeah, Joe yeah. Biden is that established quo status quo. And in many will see that as a third term. Voters don't think, you know, pundits, yeah. you know, we don't hear about that. But voters see that as a third term of the Obama administration. Right. That's a tough one. That was tough for, for All right. the Bushes Leslie as well. Leslie Sanchez, Molly Hooper, thanks to both <laughs> yeah. of you. That was great. Exactly. Elaine Quijano will have a complete wrap.